So today is Maintenance Monday and uh, we're going to take care of a few minor issues. Uh, one being the ignition switch that the key broke off in. And uh, of course since we got uh, a twin engine boat, you know, if we do one thing on one engine we do it on the other so we'll be doing two ignition switches today just gonna give you a quick uh, shot of that ignition switch issue so you um, can see it in there broken off again the uh, screwdriver worked perfect for that <laughs> to turn it on much like the bow of the dinghy, it's a uh, very hillbilly. So, so here's the new uh, ignition switches that we're going to install. And this is the <laughs> broken off key. So it's only, uh, what is that, 20 something years old. First thing to do is to uh, shut the uh, starting batteries off. So actually, this is the this is the windless switch. I should have turned that off yesterday. Um, and then in, this is the start uh, starboard um, port. Um, we're going to do the port one first. So we're going to turn that off. I'm going to try to do this without snipping any of these wires. Um, should be easy enough. I think we need to get some tools here. Good idea to take a note on which ones go where. So yellow is S. So I'm gonna have to write this down. I don't trust my memory. One, two. It's been a good switch. That's a long, long, long time, and it's pretty heavy. I'm a little hesitant about putting the new switches in because they're kind of light. And they don't seem to be as quite as heavy duty. A little bit longer as well. I got these at Worst Marine. It should be okay. Yeah, we'll give them a shot.
switch is a little wired up. accidentally short anything out so let's give it a shot that's a good sign okay that's good on the old ignition switches there are flat surfaces on this side and on this side and of course the um, console is cut out for those flat sides on the new switches there are no there is a flat side but there's only one it's on the top it's not on the sides and of course it won't go in the hole Son of a biscuit. I got back from uh, West Marine and to my surprise they had the uh, ignition switches that actually have the proper grooves in the side. So I was uh, pleasant. Oh. That one's not going to work anymore. <sighs> I'm going to send that one back. Um, interestingly enough, uh, you know, I was all excited about it, and then I realized that uh, they wanted $55 a piece for one <laughs> for these things. Okay, the uh, new ignition switches are in. They uh, have red Loctite on the screws to uh, hold them in place. And most importantly, they work. So I looked into this uh, painting a little bit closer. And it's, of course, more complicated. I thought this little top rail was separate from this rail. It isn't. This is all one piece. And there are screws underneath here that keep it, keep it in place. So, coming along over to this side, you know, if I wanted to do something with this, the paint-wise, I'd have to take it off, which means I'd have to take the door off, which means I'd have to take this thing off. Now, this thing coming off wouldn't be such a bad deal. There's a screw right there. There's one over there. There's probably some sealant in here. Maybe not, but this thing underway, when we're hitting, bashing, it squeaks. <laughs> So I'll probably have to do something with that um, in the near future. We may do a, uh, a uh, another video showing taking this whole thing off. There's another screw right there. There's screws there. There's screws down at the bottom uh, along there. So this whole thing comes off. It's probably filthy dirty in there. The door comes off. Um, probably have to rebed this whole area here and uh, to make it squeak free but kind of uh, at a crossroads this thing right here I don't know if I want to just just do it in place I'll just sand it in place and um, not take it off that's going to be some work a lot of prep to cover everything up uh, this thing too for it to come off, again, the door would have to come off, um, and this thing would have to come off in order to take that whole bottom rail off to paint it. So, fun project, and uh, I think I'm up for tackling that. <laughs>